Pierre Polivare, I think is the way he pronounced his name, in Canada. He's talking about Canada's censorship bill, calls it creeping authoritarianism. And he points out, he says, look, even Margaret Atwood, no conservative, has said that this bill represents creeping totalitarianism. You know who Margaret Atwood is? She was the author of Handmaid's Tale. And I've talked about that many times. You know, through this pandemic and lockdown, you know, she, it was a it was a story uh, about a Christian paternalism type of thing. You know, their their projection nightmare of what uh, they think a Christian nationalism is about, or whatever. You know, and some of these people probably are do fit that mold, but that's not really you know what most Christians are pushing for. There's a mischaracterization, and so they'd have people who would be forced to wear these particular women would be forced to wear these outfits and so forth, and it was a patriarchy. And I talked about that many times. I said, you know, these, these, um, uh, a lot of these uh, pro-abortion protesters would dress up like the characters from um, you know, Handmaid's Tale, Margaret Atwood's story. And I said, um, but, but what are they making us do wearing these masks? Isn't that more humiliating <laughs> or as humiliating? And they're doing it to men and to women, but that's okay because, you know, it's not uh, just to uh, one side of the uh, genders and so forth. Uh, but, um, yeah, as a matter of fact, it's kind of interesting. Karen was an extra and of all things, handmaid's tale. She didn't know what it was about. And, um, they filmed it in Durham when we were living in North Carolina, Robert Duvall was in that uh, movie and, uh, she was really excited to see Robert Duvall, a real fan of his. And, uh, but it was just a horrible experience. Uh, they would, you know, stand out in the sun all day, had her wearing a burlap bag. She got the worst sunburn. She never came back. That was a one day of it. But, uh, you know, they're standing out there and they had a group of them and they would film them from different angles and have them stand in different places, you know, to replicate the crowd and everything. And, uh, and then she was horrified to find out <laughs> what the movie was actually about. But, uh, anyway, even Margaret Atwood says this is creeping totalitarianism gives power to a woke agency, the CRTC named by liberals to manipulate social media algorithms in order to shut down voices it does not want people to hear. Oh, well, you know, we just do that quietly and secretly behind the back door in America. That's the way we do it. Uh, don't bother to put a law out there. Uh, so we're creeping along silently and secretively along the same path. He said, and therein lies the problem. The government will get to decide what, which is the right side of the debate. And let's be clear, this bill does not hurt big tech. They will still monopolize all of social media you know, because they build these boogeymen out there. And then they say, well, we're going to uh, uh, we're going to shut that thing down. He promises to repeal the censorship bill if elected. Uh, but I think that their elections are ways off because they just had uh, Trudeau get reelected. Finally, where does this all end? Well, in Egypt, their online censorship is now extending to misinformation about the weather. Um, I guess they're going to start throwing weathermen in jail because they're always wrong. <laughs> look at your app. It's constantly changing. I look at it two or three days out. And it says it's going to be something. And then the day of, or even the same day, they're changing the stuff there constantly. Uh, so yeah, we'll start throwing the weathermen in jail for misinformation. That's how crazy. It never stops once you give them the power.